Well, I think I had a slight advantage when I first started uh, my doctoral project compared with some of my colleagues in that the nature of this project meant that I'd been given a title already and I had the start of a reading list and I had a short outline of what the um, sort of project organisers expected me to do, which gave me a starting point that I could get stuck in straight away with rather than having to formulate my own idea of what my title was going to be. Um, so I think when I first started um, I got stuck in with the general reading. I think I started with the Howard family, with who they were and trying to understand uh, that side of the project. Okay, I find that my average day as a history student uh, probably doesn't really exist because I think one of the things I found is about being a history student not having uh, sort of laboratory working hours or anything like that is that I can be quite flexible um, in terms of how you structure the day so working later into the evening if you've done something else in the morning. Um, as a general rule I normally work quite a lot from home so I don't have to get up and travel anywhere. Um, that's partly because a lot of my of sources can either be accessed online or I have previously taken photos or transcriptions of them which I've then brought home to analyse in greater depth. Um, some days I will come into Oxford, travel into Oxford to go to one of the libraries to look maybe at some of the secondary reading or some of the manuscripts that are kept in the special collections in the university.